The Gateway Agrocargo Airport is a business-dependent aerotropolis with infrastructure that supports a global transportation system for the multitude of air travelers and cargoes. Gateway International Airport is a mega-project conceptualized by the Prince Dapo Abiodun administration in Ogun State with needed infrastructure to boost exportation of agricultural and non-agricultural goods on hand to further reinvigorate socioeconomic activities of the state. At the official landing of the maiden test flight into the Gateway International Agrocargo Airport in a Peri Lishon Remo, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, said the project is a pride to Ogun State because it's a world-class standard project. It is with great pride and joy that I join you here today to witness an incredibly momentous event, the maiden test flight of the recently constructed Gateway Agro International Airport of Ogun State, Nigeria. As we descended from our own aircraft, the chopper, to land a few moments ago, we were able to see the runway from up there, a state-of-the-art four-kilometer facility. And as we were able to take a Boeing 777 and a Boeing 747 aircraft and an A380 aircraft, the runway doesn't get any better than this. If we say that it's the best in the state, of course, that is not true. It is not just the best in Nigeria. It is a world-class airport, and we're here to see. He said the state is moving towards fulfilling the dreams of our forebears as Kajala Drive 2 would soon become operational. With what we all see here this afternoon, Open State is definitely taking a huge step in fulfilling the dreams of our forebears, the dreams of Chief Obafe Meaolo, and the dreams of others who work with him, the dreams of a vibrant, modern, and industrious community living together in peace and prosperity. A dream of Ogun State that is the engine room, the engine of our nation's economy and our nation's commerce and business. But we must pause here to commend the first vision of this airport, Otuba Kuinga Daniel, who as we have heard has gotten conceived of this airport and went as far as getting an approval for it from the federal government. But it is a tribute to the wisdom and understanding of our current government, Prince Dako, Abiyonu MFA, that he took it from the idea, re envisioned it completely, and in the light of opportunities, needs, and the requirements and realities of today, he birthed the Gateway International Agro Cargo Airport of the state. The chief host and the governor of Ogun State, Prince Dapo Abiodun, while delivering his speech at the occasion, said that the airport marked the actualization of a dream by a former governor of the state and fulfillment of his administration's desire to provide a conducive atmosphere for economic development. An airplane has just landed in Ogun State. This is another one of many firsts by this administration of yours. The test flight despite all odds, it's very important to us for many reasons. First, there's one of the necessary activities leading to the full certification and licensing of this airport for safe aviation operations. Secondly, it marks the actualization of a dream conceived 16 years ago by one of my predecessors, Otoba Justus Baker Daniel. The approval was given in 2008 by NCAA and from then this dream has since been nurtured by the good people of the state. This is a testament to what is achievable by being focused, by being deliberate, by being resolute, by being committed and by being audacious. In every way therefore it is a dream come true. Today's test flight is therefore a landmark event confirming the determination of this administration to develop an airport of international standards in the state to serve businesses, industry, and the good people of this great state. The development of this airport is in alignment with the vision of this administration, which is 
to provide a focus and a new environment for public-private sector partnership, which we believe is very fundamental to the development of our people and their individual prosperity. He spoke on the choice of the location and the need for a special agro-processing zone around the metropolis. In view of the planned spread of economic activities and clusters across the state, coupled with the spatial distribution of current, plant and proposed rail transport networks and air transport components of the plan, we located this facility right here in the Ramon Nexus around the Lagos Ibadan and Lagos Bidding Expressway. The choice of this location allows for easy and easy access from different parts of the state, including Lagos, the commercial capital of Nigeria. The eastern and northern regions of Nigeria can also be easily accessed from this location. The country is currently going to pursue strategies to promote the export of goods and services. And this airport will be very critical in helping to achieve this objective. This project is part of an integrated development program aimed at unleashing the full potential of this great state. The airport is located in the Remo Economic Zone, which houses the Ogo State Special Abruzzian Zone, the entirety that we refer to as an aerotropolis, the first of its kind in Nigeria. This Ogo SAPZ is not breaking. We conducted it about two months ago. It's a public-private partnership between Ogo State and Arise LLP a company that specializes in setting up agro value chain development. It promises to offer at least 25,000 job opportunities. This further justify the business case for the construction of this airport. Governor Abiodun further disclosed to the mammoth crowd that another complementary infrastructure in transportational system is the dry port at Kajola, which will soon be developed. Other complementary infrastructure transportation projects currently being pursued is development of the dry port at Kajola in Ogo Central. This dry port will be located on the Lagos Ibadan rail line in the Kajola free trade zone, the free trade zone that was also established to Barbara Daniel. We have also commenced the process of the construction of the Olokola port which was also conceived by my possessor. This, all this, will go a long way into easing the port congestion and make Apapa port more efficient. No doubt, this airport will become the alternative airport to the Muritala Mohammed International Airport and is already being considered as the export terminal for non-oil in Nigeria. In his good room message, the Minister of Aviation Senator Adi Sirika said the administration of President Muhammad Buhari used the aviation sector to grow Nigeria's economy, adding that it has doubled aviation business in the country and that the Gateway International Agrocargo Airport has the capacity to carry any cargo plane to make the aviation business thrive. This airport is a product of people that sat down to think what can add value to the economy, to the people, to the general social well-being of the people of this area? It has happened. Mr. Governor, well done. The Buhari government. Aviation grew to become the fastest growing sector of the economy before COVID. There was a time when to get an approval to bring in an aircraft takes a month, two months, three months. Today, it takes hours to get the aircraft into Nigeria under the Buhari administration. Senator Sirika said the cargo airport has capacity to move any cargo from one place to the other. And half of those airlines started during this administration because doing business has become so easy. There was a time when to get an approval to bring in an aircraft takes a month, two months, three months. Today, it takes hours to get the aircraft into Nigeria under the Buhari administration. So as you could see, Ogun, Ebonyi, Yobe, Ekiti, Oshun, Nasarawa, Jigawa, Borno, Anambra, Abekota, all over airports are coming up. And for good reasons. I was challenged, and this is why your business plan 
is very good. I was challenged by the label when we were talking about concession of airport. They said start with Katina. I said, good enough. In Katina we have 37 dams, 37. The third biggest dam is in Katina, the Zobe Dam. Abandoned since 1981, commissioned by Buhari. I said, if we produce chili, tomatoes, and onions, in five and a half hours, it will be in the UK, in Europe, or it will be in Dubai, in the Middle East. A handful of tomatoes in my in UK is 10 pounds. A whole basket at that time was 200 naira. The full rate exchange you earn. And taking it to Port Harcourt from Casina is 28 hours, 32 hours. But by air is one hour. So if you have an airport that has capacity to move cargo from one place to another, the gains are too numerous, too much, too huge to even quantify. Various personalities at the test flight give their opinions on the project in their goodwill messages. I thank God that the governor is one governor who believes that government is continuity and he has continued with continuity. I want to thank him, but as he promised me, I know he's a promise keeper. For me, Nega, the Cajola that part is in my local government. What we lost in what has been up by told was reminding me just now that where we lost it, I said, well, the minister said this one was since 2007. And the minister said, he said, he preceded the was in me. But we, as the government promised, we shall have the dry port. The government, God will continue to bless you. God will give you the grace to do greater things for good state in my time. Because at 84, it's a joy to me that some of the things I did 30 years ago, I've been still alive to see the whole thing resuscitated and made better than the way I did it. I hope to live longer than this, to see better things in the next four years, including the Kajola Kago Airport. <laughs> There isn't a lot to say other than to assert that I'm probably the happiest man here today. And the reason for my happiness has been enunciated by the Honorable Commissioner who gave a background of this project. Well, just for purpose of record, I'd like to say that Sometimes in 2005, we decided to revisit the master plan of Ogun State and we created a 25 year master plan. And in that plan, we identified a few, a number of our farmers cannot transport their farm produce out of the country. And it was at that time that countries like Kenya were even exporting flowers. To Europe and other locations that are making money. And that was how it all started. But along the line, after we've done all our feasibility, the idea came that this should not just be a cargo, but also an international airport. The reason has been given by the Honorable Commission, because as an international airport, it can easily serve as the alternative to the Kenya International Airport. And of course, because it's going to be a Bukago, like Mr. Shidamai said, it has capacity to take the biggest of aeroplanes. And I'm happy that this has happened today. The only other thing that I would just quickly say is that uh, we got the approval, as you were told, in 2008. Then we didn't have money. And we were then trying to see if we can get some support. But unfortunately, there was a little bit of tsunami in our house of assembly and the house asked us to go and take the money. But it was just about three months ago and we felt it didn't make sense to go and be taking money three months to the end of our term. Because of that, we refused to award the contract and hope that whoever took over will award the contract and the job will go on. But as you have probably noticed, 
after our takeover for all of eight years, nothing happened here. I don't want to talk about it. It's politics. We are moving forward. But I'm happy today that His Excellency, the Governor of Ogun State, took it from where we stopped and that trying to actualize this program. Important personalities, government functionaries, politicians, as well as wishers at the event, witnessed the maiden landing and flying of the aeroplanes at the 4km runway of the Agokago Airport with admiration. Thereafter, the Minister of Aviation, Senator Adi Sirika, presented a certificate of completion and operational license to the Governor of Ogun State, Prince Dagbo Abiodu. And we went uh, with the kind permission, Your Excellency, to issue the permission and approval for this exercise. Thank you very much. Giant Strikes crew caught up with personalities at the event, and here is what they say. It's a landmark project. It will not only benefit um, Bremont, it will benefit Ogun State, it will benefit the whole country. Lagos is congested, as you know, and this is a, 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 you know, a good um, feedback for Lagos, for the country. So we all, all Nigerians, should rejoice that today, today has come, and it's a tremendous and a huge, gigantic project that we're having in the Remo Ne Ogun State. So this is a way of giving back to the society. There is so, there will be so much job in this place, so much multiplying effect to the economy. So I just want to tell them to remain peaceful, to remain calm, that this current impasse, it's it's temporary and it's going to pass, so it's, it's going to move away. So let us join hands together, make sure that we also shine our eyes. Election is about two or three days ago and make sure that we'll bring back a government such as this who will do something that will impact our lives. Indeed, this is a giant stride. I want to commend His Excellency Prince Dr. Dapua Beodun for recording this feat. Uh, this will go a long way in enhancing our commerce. It will create job uh, employment opportunities for our people. It will help our people in this area. And when you look at it very well, if you want to if you want to see a kind of, uh, if you get go to a developed economy, things like this are part of what is actually helping them. Uh, provision of good road infrastructures, train, uh, airports, it will go a long way. When you're having an efficient transportation system, that will go a long way in enhancing the commerce of open states. Well, you see, um, it's another opportunity. This is a global opportunity. This is a big thing that we create jobs, create opportunities for our people. And all Nigerians is now, is now in the world map. And, and there is no way anybody in the world will not appreciate it. And then and, and, um, Ogusek will become um, on the landmark of Africa, even the world. And that is an opportunity for Ogun State. Uh, it will create more jobs, opportunities for our people. And then um, in the next few years, this area will become a gold mining area. Everybody will be rushing to build something here. And um, I will be honest with you, this is history that has been made. And this is a success story on the part of Governor Akwadu Abiyadu. Uh, well, I mean, this airport has been on the drawing table for many years. I think it has passed through about two different governments. So uh, it is a thing of joy that the government of Prince Akwabi is now the one delivering the project, um, which is uh, God's doing. And kudos to Mr. Governor for this uh, successful achievement. It's going to elevate the state as a very uh, agro central state, and um, we hope that to make a difference in the economy of the state. Cargo Airport with very high specifications. It has a code E specifications. It's an international airport, and it also automatically will fly passenger planes as well. The facilities in this location include the airport itself, the control towers, the fire station terminal building and the zones about 
the warehouses, the logistics and distribution zone, the special agro industrial processing zone, mixed use industrial, commercial and residential real estate, and school of aeronautical engineering and maintenance facility. This is about the first um, airport city of this size. It's sitting on 5,000 hectares of land. And as Ogu State is going to further cement our position as the industrial hub for this country. So investors can now site their industries here. And this becomes a one stop shop where they site their industries here, their warehouses are here. And exports also can be facilitated very easily. So businesses such as uh, greenhouses, Cut for cut flowers, vegetables, for exports can be cited here because from your location, you are within an airport city and you can just take your goods out. So this is very significant for us in Ogun State. It's going to continuously to generate a lot of internally generated revenue for us, and we believe that it's put Ogun State as the first, one of the first, if not the first of states that we want to transform our economic viability and to further increase our IGR. This is a very fantastic project in the government of Prince Dagoni of the MFR. It's a big achievement because we have seen airports come and go and this is a major international cargo airport here in Oku State. You can see that it is ready, it is practically completed. Now it's going to be a PPP project public-private partnership that has such a big impact on the economy of Ogun State. As you know, my governor, Prince Dagwabio Remefa, is Mr. Infrastructure. And you know the five pillars that we have in Ogun State for development. Ishaya, I-S-E-Y-A. We have I for infrastructure, S for social uh, welfare and development, E for education, Y for youth and culture, A for agriculture and all those come together with this new airport. So it is a big infrastructure project. Now it's going to be a public-private partnership. What Open State Government has done is to do a different approach. First, we have built the airports. So we have the runway, we have the terminal building, we have the cargo handling, we have the hangar, we have the perimeter fence. We have all those infrastructural elements that a good international cargo airport needs. So that's there. Now, what we're going to do is to invite the private sector in the PPP and we will grant a concession. So what we have started to do is to look at potential um, partners for Ogun State Government. So we have uh, major uh, infrastructural development partners who have invested in airports in different parts of the world. So they have come and they have approached the state government. So before very long, we will approach a suitable partner and then that will, they will run the airport for a number of years and that is the hallmark of a successful PPP. So definitely, we are happy that number one, is going to create jobs. Number two, is going to increase the revenue of Google State. And more so, the most important thing is that all our agricultural products can be taken out fresh instead of waiting on another airline of this to take our food out. And then we can trade extensively with the whole world. So this one has really made us, and put us on a map of the whole world. So definitely, I am very happy. And the Chambers of Commerce, the organized private sectors, are really happy that this project is going to open up so many opportunities for us. So. We thank the government of uh, Governor Dapabio for bringing this close to us instead of languishing, looking around from where we are going to get flights to take our food, especially the perishable ones. And so we are happy. This maiden test flight is an important milestone that signals the imminent commencement of aviation activities at this strategic transportation infrastructure initiated by the Prince Dapo Abiodun administration, which will in turn portend collective prosperity for individuals and the state at large.